like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Thanks for the hint, Esky. What's up, guys? It's Lava Hawk, Kill Train Gaming here. Coming back at you with some more Dying Light the following walkthrough right? series yeah, here. We're doing this main story quest, as well as a few uh, side quests in between to make sure we continue with the story quest. It does require that at some time, as well as highlighting any uh, notable items, uh, community just paint was, jobs, etc., that we find in the area. You should check out while we're there. Um, this one's starting out as gaining ingredients. We gotta start working our way up, gaining trust in the community to actually have any of these people actually help us. They're actually kind of okay with rude to us so far. They don't want us to see anyone else to be. So we're talking with the leader's daughter right now to figure out what we can do to try to gain a little bit of trust with the city, uh, sorry, the community, and start trying to figure out a little bit about this cure that, or, uh, or why no it seems what you were arguing you. about with your father? No, no point. Yeah, but still, you're the only one here who's speaking to me. Well, I can understand their attitude, but I don't have to agree with their methods, do I? So you guys would just rather see me gone? Well, no. Look, people here have gotten used to someone taking care of them. All thanks to the mother and her servants. Servants? Just help the people, all right? Do something spectacular. And soon enough, you'll see for yourself. Yeah, so we got both cameras going here. Uh, this one with the golden shotgun is my Lyle file. The main one that we, uh, or the smaller one that we got going on there is, should be kill trains. If you, you know, we're just hopping in the buggy, we're driving down. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just down the way here. Follow the road. You're gonna get there. Now we stopped over here and we went the long ways around in this. Uh, basically, we get to the water plant and negotiate with some bandits over here. And while this is an acceptable way to get in, it's not for this mission. What you're supposed to do is just go around to the left when you get there, where these guys are. You see here, because we're gonna have to jump back out and come back in just to talk to them, which is kind of silly. But anyway, you're gonna find this ladder. You're gonna climb up one at a time. And uh, you're gonna talk to this guy over here, and she's the leader of this band. These men actually selling trying to negotiate here? getting some water Water's for the people of clear. the No diary afterwards. Taste as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? We can start charging for air too. Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? You oh, fuck you, I asshole. Might let you trade so be it. All right, boys. Fuck him up. And as you get a guess, that went poorly and real quick. They're gonna come at you. So if you're not ready for this, you know, mean you wanna try to get ready beforehand, you're gonna be talking about those bands. Free on the bridge right here right away. Uh, then you're gonna have a guy come out the door over there on the left you saw. He's got a, a weapon. There's gonna be a couple more guys with, with um guns, uh, and then beyond that, you gotta worry about a bunch of guys with melee weapons around. If you picked up a shotgun or anything along your way, or any kind of weaponry, really, um, guns are really useful along ways against, uh, real people, especially in close shop areas where you're not gonna get swarmed by zombies by using it. Be very careful if you blow something up like I just did there, uh, walking around it afterwards. Cars can reignite. If you get blown up, by an explosion, if you don't, you're, you may already know this, but if you blown up by an explosion in this game, or if you get taken out, you're in the back of the buggy and you get taken out by, like, uh, you get closed lined by something or something, because you're standing up in the back of the buggy, um, you're dead. There's no getting you revived or anything. You have to respawn and come back in, which is kind of annoying. After you've cleared everyone, you're going to make your way in here. There's going to be one last bandit to take care of. And then you're gonna talk to Jazir sent me. The well Esky did. This guy here. You're one of the three going that lost. To start the only one left. Helping you get water going Ali? back to town. They got thrown to that that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we can redirect it. So my suggestion when you're gonna do this. 
Um, I mean, for me, always was in the storyline. Uh, there's always like helpful little hints and everything. Game game developers love dropping cool little things. But um, what you're gonna want to do is you see there that kill train popped up on the top there. You want to get up what kill train is right now in the main screen here. I took my time walking way around. You see over there. Because this does this cutscene does take a little bit of time, and it does give you enough time to get the missions done from there. But as you can see, it's going to go work very wrong very quickly, and you're going to have to actually race to the main valve to uh, reopen it. Because bandits will have closed it, or someone someone's closed it. So when you try to start pumping water again, it's bursting the pipes. So now we are in a race to get to the main valve as fast as we can. So you're gonna hop out of here, hop over this ramp right here, hop into your buggy, grab your partner who didn't come with you, and then you're gonna follow the pipelines. Now right up here, um, it's fairly simple to follow the pipelines. Right up here uh, is something I mess up every time I do this mission. So right here, go left where that intersection is. Don't go right around like I do. Uh, I don't know why I always mess that up, but I do. But you see, it loses a lot of time. Thankfully, it does give you a little bit of time to get there. And if you just hold on the gas and follow that pipeline the rest of the way, you should be fine. So you're going to pull up to here, park here beside the white van so you can use it to hop up. I hop up on the pipeline, if that's actually even necessary, you can drop over. You're going to pop open this door, you can, and there's a little cellar, jump in, another door to pop open. Run down the hall, and on your left you're going to find the main valve there. All of those lockers that you see on the, on the left to me right now, Kill train will be looking at them in a second here as well. They are just packed full of random valuables. And whenever you see a row of lockers like that and one of them turns purple when you use your survivor sense, that means that one of them's got a difficult of sorts, I think it's hard, uh, lock pick. And I've found nothing but very valuable, awesome stuff in the, uh, the lockers so far. It's a good spawn chest for valuables. <laughs> So collect your whatnot, your goodies, and everything out of here. You're gonna head up on out. Ali, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. Make your way back We're good. to your buggy. We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell just here you're all right. You know. For a stranger. Basically, because you've done what you've done, they're gonna put in a good word with you. You're gonna get back. You can see that that the community, this little village area that you have, helped. Um, you've really helped them. Like they are literally praising God. They're so happy that you brought this water to them. So I think it's safe to say that maybe we're starting to gain a little bit of respect and uh, trust in the community. So if you'd like, you can go over here again and talk to Eggsy real quick, get her two cents, or if you just want to progress in the storyline, head right over to Jasir here Our wells have been and talk to him. The last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. So... After you talk to him, he's just gonna walk further in the barn, just follow him in there, speak to him again, and that is literally the end for anything that could save my friend. Of game creates you've completed the mission. This one's actually pretty fun. It's um, it's a good way to get started and start getting used to the buggy when you're racing across those pipelines and they're bursting in every which way. But uh um, prayers again from for this the first few missions, you know, it's really not testing your might too much. Just like the other outsiders. Yet. You got a little bit of uh, action experience and everything and else. Us. But anyway, thanks a bunch again for tuning in guys. Like, share, subscribe. We've got a bunch more of these okay. videos coming out, like okay, well, I've said. Is there anyone that can uh, speak with this mother? She is sacred. I, I really hope she we've we've helped out again. Known Thank as you. The faceless. But maybe. Maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? 
You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm. And my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle. <laughs> 